my zombie army and welcome to a new series I want to do where I basically just talk about trending topics things that's going on with YouTube or the world today I wanted to talk about the YouTube ad situation these big companies are pulling their ads from YouTube because they found a couple of videos that they thought to be inappropriate and it makes sense because if I owned a company, I would want it to be ran a certain way. I wouldn't want my company name to be tainted by just random crap on the internet. So a lot of these big YouTubers are kind of freaking out about this situation. Like Rob Dyke, PewDiePie, Philip DeFranco. And I noticed PewDiePie and Phil DeFranco are a lot more worried about the smaller channels than the bigger channels. Although PewDiePie often just goes on stupid rants about how he's not making enough money, which I find complete bullcrap, but I'll talk about that in a minute. But Philip DeFranco was basically saying he's worried about the smaller channels because how YouTube decided to respond to the whole situation is going to affect a lot of the smaller YouTube channels. So, what YouTube decided to do is that you can no longer monetize your videos unless your channel has over a total of 10,000 views. You don't need to have 10,000 views on a video in order to monetize it. It's just your total channel count, total channel views. So, after you reach 10,000, you can start monetizing your videos. Which I think that's honestly a brilliant idea. Because now it gives people an opportunity to actually build around their community. To actually make high quality videos. To learn how to edit and do all this proper stuff. Before you can start making money off of it. Basically make it a hobby first. And then make it into a small business. Which, to that I say, about time. And I notice a lot of the communities that I talk to freak out about it and I try to tell them, you know, exactly what I just said. It will give you an opportunity to build your channel, to actually work with your audience and try to make your videos even better. And then when you start making money, you're going to make money because now you, you have a community that you've built around. And now I want to talk about YouTubers rants. Rob Dyke was basically ranting about the companies pulling their ads and you know he was saying that he's scared for channels that basically built a business around YouTube. They've hired people uh, to edit their videos and to do all this certain stuff to look up information to do artwork and he's afraid you know this is going to affect his business because he pays those people, which I don't really think is going to affect his business because if these companies pull their ads off of YouTube, that just leaves more open opportunities for other companies to put their ads on YouTube. And trust me, I think there's going to be a lot more companies than Coca-Cola, Pepsi, and other companies that was on YouTube before, these big companies, that want to get their name on YouTube, that want to get exposed. So I don't think... Is going to really affect YouTube all that much. But I do understand the scare of companies pulling their ads. Because if every single company pulls their ads, then no YouTuber is really going to make money to really be able to do all this stuff that they do with their channels. I understand Rob Dyke from a business standpoint. And then PewDiePie was basically saying that he's not making nearly as much money as he was, which I can believe that. But I can't believe that he's not making any money. Obviously, because he just bought a $5,000 computer. And if you, were, if you were having money troubles, you wouldn't waste money on a $5,000 computer. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. And PewDiePie's computer obviously wasn't broken. So, But he is concerned about the smaller channels too. Because he wants to do a shout-out to basically try to build up a channel. 
like he's done with several other channels, like Jacksepticeye and Cinnamon Toast Ken. Which I honestly think bigger YouTubers should honestly try to do stuff like that. They should give shoutouts, you know, to help other YouTubers start somewhere. Because when you start from the bottom, it's really, really hard to get anywhere. Trust me on that. But I think it's a good idea to start from the bottom. Because you learn how to deal with certain things in a certain way. You learn how to edit your videos properly and be able to produce high quality content instead of just pushing video after video after video and they're all just crap. Nobody wants to watch that. But if you start from the bottom and you actually try to work your way up by trying your best to produce high quality content, then people are going to want to watch you and you're going to start building a community. And when you actually communicate with that community, I think it just makes your channel even stronger. So I honestly think it's a good thing that YouTube is finally doing something about this. That channels have to get 10,000 views now in order to get monetized. Because now you're going to have a lot more serious YouTube channels trying to get their name known. Instead of these little... I call them fuckboy channels, where nobody's really taking anything seriously and they're literally just trying to push out shitty videos that nobody wants to watch. But anyway, that's my little rant, or whatever you want to call it. If you like my videos, go on ahead and take a bite out of that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think about the whole situation. Let me know what you think about the whole YouTube ad and how YouTube responded to it. Do you think YouTube was in the right? Do you think this this new monetization rule is going to actually do any good? What do you think? Let me know. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take it easy. Peace.